What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and this is the best of the best. Now, if you're a regular on the channel, you'll know that at the end of each year, I invite some of my awesome YouTuber friends to share with us what their favorite piece of tech of the year has been. And this year, we've got an even more epic lineup, which I'm sure you've seen from the thumbnail. So let's kick things off straight away. My personal favorite piece of tech of 2016 has to be the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Surprise, surprise. I absolutely love this phone. It ticked all the boxes for me. Beautiful curved and symmetrical design, amazing display, great cameras, water and dust resistance, and some unique features with the S Pen. It's a real shame that it had issues and it had to get discontinued, but it still remains as my favorite piece of tech of 2016. So that's me. Let's see what the other guys have chosen. So when Saf asked me to pick a product, of course I said yes, because you do not mess with a beard that majestic. So for me, my must have product of the year, this holiday season, is the Microsoft Surface Book with performance base. If you've been cross shopping with the MacBook Pro and you want a computer that's gonna last you longer than four hours, look no farther than the definitely way overpriced Surface Book performance base. It's an awesome computer. If you haven't tried Windows, give it another shot. Uh, it's gotten pretty good over the past few years. Check it out. What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg. And one of my favorite pieces of tech this year was the drone. And my favorite of those was the DJI Mavic Pro. It's amazing how quickly these have evolved, but they've evolved to this very compact form factor that's foldable, very light, and very easy to use, and very difficult to crash thanks to the sensors and the software that DJI has developed. And the amazing thing about the Mavic Pro is that even though it's lighter and more compact, it has the same battery life, has farther range, and produces the same excellent 4K video quality. So that's definitely my favorite of the year. So hands down, my favorite piece of tech for 2016, and I agree with Saf, is the Note 7. The overall design just screams sex appeal. I mean, this thing is beautiful. The display is gorgeous. The camera, I mean, the camera on this thing is probably, if not one of the best in the business. And overall, everything it had to offer, not only from a software experience, but also from a hardware, you really don't see Android phones like this today. And it's truly a shame that Samsung went down with the whole battery issue. Hopefully next year they can recover and we can see a Note 8. So I want to thank Sat for having me on his channel. And also, if you guys want to check out my content, I'm sure there will be links down below. Happy holidays. Hey everybody, Michael Fisher here. And my alter ego is called Mr. Mobile for a reason. I'm always on the go. Because I don't always want to haul my studio gear with me though, I snapped up DJI's Osmo Mobile. It's a little pricey and I don't really like its companion app but the stabilization is perfect for walk and talks or hands-on footage. And if you get the $10 base, it's a great periscope companion too. I've used it with a handful of smartphones and it's really helped add some flair to my videos, which is why I'm naming it my best tech friend in 2016. Check out The Mr. Mobile on YouTube for the videos and stay mobile, my friends. Hey guys, Ash here, and I run a small tech channel here on YouTube called C4D Tech. As a tech YouTuber, you keep going through tech test, review, move on to the next. It is rare that a product makes a lasting impression that you keep coming back to it. And the QC35s are probably my most used piece of tech this year. The audio quality is good, decent mids and highs, the bass is refined, but it's the noise cancellation that impressed me. To say it's good would be an understatement. Oh my god good. Now that sounds close to what I felt the first time I tried it. I use it for two to three hours a day, every day, and I charge this like once a week. Ever since I picked these up, I've taken more than 60% of my calls via the QC35s. That's how impressed I've been. So when Saf asked me what my favorite piece of tech was for 2016. Saf, thank you so much for the opportunity to be on your video. Hey everyone, it's Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now, and a favorite piece of tech is actually a combination of things. 2016 was awesome. I liked a lot of everything that was announced, but uh, my favorite smartphone is dead, the Galaxy Note 7. So second best would be, believe it or not, the iPad Pro 9.7 and the Apple Pencil in combination with Microsoft OneNote. Now bear in mind, I've never recommended either of these products. I thought the Apple Pencil was a dumb idea. But then I, when this 9.7 inch variant came out, it has just become one of my favorite desktop companions. Mainly because of how I script video, this has become like my favorite notepad, where I'm using OneNote, I'm doing things on the computer and I'm just jotting down notes every day. It has become an extremely practical tool for me. I'm not saying that it's great, it's just been really practical for me. I'm surprised how much I like OneNote, for example. But that's been it for me. Thank you so much again for the opportunity. Hey, what is up guys? I'm KBHD here. And 
and my favorite piece of tech from the year 2016 that's come out is actually the phone that I'm using right now, and that's the Google Pixel. Uh, it turns out, I mean, there was a little bit of hype coming up to this phone, you know, we knew that Nexus was ending, but we didn't know what was coming next. And then even the leaks and stuff we saw before this phone were a little underwhelming, but it finally came out and turns out to be a really great experience. I've talked about it in my own video about it, but basically the software experience on this phone makes it worth what you actually have to pay for it. It is a premium price phone and it's not waterproof or anything and it's not perfect, but the camera's fantastic because of the software. The speed is amazing because of the software. The battery life is great because of the software. And it's overall a really complete package. You get the Google Assistant, you get the latest version of Android. All these things are top notch. So if you're looking for a smartphone as some of the best tech of the year, this is definitely on the list. Google Pixel, one of my favorites. What up, Saf? I think the best tech of 2016 is the Boosted board. This is the Boosted 2, which sort of came out this year. Boosted 1, never had a better year than 2016. All right. So there we have it, guys. Some of the best tech of 2016 from some of the best YouTubers out there. A huge thanks to all the guys that got involved in this video. I can personally recommend each and every single one of these guys. They make some awesome content. So definitely do go ahead and check them out. I'll be leaving links to all of their channels in the description below. If you're new to this channel, then be sure to subscribe because I've got lots more content coming up in 2017, including lots more awesome collabs. What was your favorite piece of tech of 2016? Drop me a comment below, let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, then definitely do leave it a thumbs up. If you wanna see last year's video on some other related content, then click on one of the cards here. Thanks for watching, this is Safa on SuperSaf TV, and I'll see you next time.